Hello, my loyal friends. Evil and Samnat Kamara, the reason you have needs. Evil, your world holds the assumption that the parents form one's personality. They do not. The soul creates the lover mind. The personality and the parent's responsibility is to bring out that which is inherent within the mind of the child and to help to utilize it within the context of the child's earthly environment. The reason you have the perception of having unmet needs is because caregivers have abused their power over the child. That can mean teachers, babysitters, other siblings, clergy members, as well as parents, and more. That there are the dark mother and tyrant mind control programs directed at your lover minds in a patriarchal world is the reason that one goes from lifetime to lifetime feeling inadequate and feeling as if their needs have not been met. The only emotional need you have is to embody your soul upon earth. You have physical needs and this includes feeding and being held, accepted by other earthlings. But what you have upon earth now is many people who have fractured soul connections so the feeling of being whole continues to evade them. So you seek. You look in externals for that which you are. They are not there. You must overturn one rock after the next in order to understand that nothing under that rock will tell you who you are. Only you can do that. It is up to the caregiver not to sever the child's attachment to soul. Unfortunately, this is a being done on a large scale now, particularly because you don't understand the nature of life and parenting. These are not really unmet needs that you have suffered as much as soul wants. Yes, there is the expectation that you will live in a loving family circle. This is what comes from your life as Pleiadians, vegans, or even higher dimensionals. When this does not occur, one is left with only the true teacher, the soul. When the soul continues to suffer atrocities and abuse at the hands of the caregivers, then it fractures. Many of you have fractured souls and are seeking to retrieve the pieces. The way to do so is to heal the original wound. This is done by continuing to incur the same time of abuse from others and in learning to react to the abuse differently, more lovingly to yourself and to the one who is your abuser, you heal the wound. When you continue to put down those who have abused you, 
You have only done half the work. Obviously, you still fear that person or type of person. Forgiveness is essential for soul reconnection to occur. This is because you must raise your frequency to soul level in order to retrieve the fractured pieces and to reconnect souls to your lover frequencies again. Only love can heal, hate destroys. Many of you have experienced a hateful first experience of life, and in turn, you continue to hate others out of ignorance. To continue to do so, keep soul at a distance, learning how to love others and learning how to love yourself regardless of circumstances suffered is the goal. We realize that on earth there is much to done in this respect, but you have suffered no more than your soul can handle. However, many of you go through your day struggling with forgiveness when to surrender it to your soul, your Christ self, your God self, or God would be more helpful to you. You need not do this work all on your own. You have help, and you can tell that part of yourself that you don't know how to do this. So please let them help to heal or instruct you further. Yes, there is a universal law of surrender. It reads as follows. To surrender does not mean putting your hands in the air and flying a white flag. It is not defeat, giving up or failing. To surrender is to be wise. It is wise to accept the flow of life's energy rather than resist it. To surrender is to accept what is now unconditionally and to give up without any reservations what is offered, any inner resistance to what is now. By making a conscious choice at this moment and in every present moment of now, to fully accept that the present moment is as it should be, then by surrendering to this knowledge, you are more powerful than you could possibly believe. By not judging the present moment of now, but by accepting it and offering no resistance to what is now, you show tremendous faith in God and other unseen entities. This allows you to be in a state of grace, easy flow and enlightenment. Whether things are perceived, good or bad, is not material in this state of grace. Things are what they are and eventually everything happens for the best. You can truly let go and let God but make sure you roll away from the rocks by surrendering to what is now in this state of graceful surrender you can see clearly what action needs to take place 
and by doing one thing at a time, step by step, inch by inch, moment by moment, as illustrated in the love of process, you accomplish what needs to be done in your surrounded state. The energy released in surrounded state is a powerful healing energy. This energy propels your healing, growth, and evolution. Surrender to discover how powerful you really are, which is a good point. The flow. Life is flowing. Life is always flowing towards healing and forgiveness. When you cannot do so, you are out of the flow. Ask for help in regaining the flow. Life flows upward in frequency, not downward. It takes much energy. In fact, to hold a planet in a circumstance of negativity, the energy that is being taken to do so is the life energy of all upon earth. So you hold yourselves down. In breaking that hold on your energy, you free yourself and you help to free the collective of humanity on earth. When you choose love over hate, when you choose gratitude over complaint, when you choose wisdom over ignorance, when you choose courage over fear, you win. And you win for all upon earth as well. We realize that life on earth takes courage, especially now, especially when the cloth is being torn off to reveal the demons underneath. Earth is going through a collective process of facing its fears. The fears those upon it have helped to create. It will undergo the process for quite a while. New atrocities will be foisted upon those who still fear, while those who do not will be freed. Me, this isn't evil. I can tell that he's letting someone in on the channeling. He's been doing that the last couple of days. Who are you, sharer of this truth and knowledge? SK, I am Sanat Kumara, planetary logos for Earth, Lord of Wisdom, lover of all who grace this planet. Me, aha, just thought I'd ask. Evil is partnering with other people and channeling new info through me. SK, may I continue? Me, of course. I just want to see what you look like. Oh, okay. I have seen your image before. SK, I shine every day upon you with your sun. I am the light that floods this planet now. Me, you should feel my heart chakra, guys. His energy is awesome. Okay, please continue. SK, in this time of perhaps darkness before the dawn, your people will learn. Learn they must, otherwise perish. The wisdom of the old age must come back to your hearts. It must embody within you again. You must reconnect to soul. This will be taught to you again. 
as Earth once again takes center stage in the universe to reclaim her place as a bright star of the universe. Everything you are learning, now you see that there is no information coming to you, so you are learning, learning to trust and be patient, learning to hold your hearts open, to trust those in power, and to be patient and wait for guidance. This is such an important lesson. Gone are the days for so many of petulant, impulsive decision making, thinking without heart. The heart is taking its place at the forefront of this movement now. You are being taught. You are being taught lessons. You may not even realize you are learning. With every step taken, with everything revealed, with every reaction you have to any circumstance presented before you, you are learning to embody the Christ. Slowly, step by step, you remember who you truly are. I am Sanat Kumara, and I leave you now with a blessing and with the assurance from all those of the higher heart that we watch you, love you, and lead you in love. Me, thanks, Evil. That was pretty awesome, Evil. You are most welcome, my love. Me. I thought you only knew vegans. Evil, not at all. We are on earth. They host us as we assist them in the liberation of this planet and the return of the Christ light to your souls.